He is known for his contributions as a composer, organist, and director in Leipzig, Germany. He expanded the orchestra at the Collegium Musicum to over 40 musicians and composed several works for the Leipzig Civic Opera. His name is Melchior Hoffmann. In the small town of Berenstein, Saxony, Germany, a musical prodigy was born around the year 1679. His name was Melchior Hoffmann, and little did anyone know that he would go on to leave a lasting impact on the world of music. As a young boy, Hoffmann's talent was recognized, and he became a choir boy in Dresden under the guidance of Johann Christoph Schmidt. But music was not the only path that called to Hoffmann. In 1702, he made the bold decision to move to Leipzig to study law. However, his passion for music could not be denied, and he found himself drawn to the Collegium Musicum, where he joined forces with the renowned composer George Philip Telemann. Not only did he perform alongside Telemann, but he also took on the role of the organization's copyist. Hoffman's dedication and talent did not go unnoticed, and in 1705, he succeeded Telemann as the director of the Collegium Musicum. This position allowed him to not only showcase his skills as a musician but also act as an educator. One of his notable students was Gottfried Heinrich Stolzel. Under Hoffman's leadership, the orchestra at the Collegium expanded to include over 40 musicians, bringing a new level of grandeur to their performances. Melchior Hoffmann, a renowned composer of his time, had a unique talent that often led to his compositions being mistaken for the work of J.S. Bach. It wasn't until extensive research was conducted that the true extent of his musical contributions came to light. Certain pieces, such as the aria for alto, Schlage dot, Gewunscht Stun, and the solo cantata for tenor, Mean Seal Rump Und Praised, were identified as likely works by Hoffmann himself. One of the most significant achievements attributed to Hoffmann is the composition of the Magnificat in a minor for solo soprano and a small group. This piece, which was assigned a BWV number of BWV on 21 in the 19th century, showcased Hoffmann's mastery of composition and his ability to create captivating melodies. It was a groundbreaking work that demonstrated his innovative approach to music. Despite his success as a composer, Hoffmann's name was sometimes confused with that of another composer named Johann George Hoffmann. However, it is important to note that there was no relation between the two. Melchior Hoffmann's musical genius stood on its own, and his contributions to the world of music were distinct and unparalleled. While none of his operas have survived to this day, contemporary reviews shed light on their impact and popularity. Hoffmann's operas were well received, captivating audiences with their intricate melodies and emotional depth. His ability to tell stories through music was truly remarkable and left a lasting impression on all who had the opportunity to witness his operatic creations. Furthermore, Hoffman is recognized as the first composer to use bells in a serious manner. This innovative approach to incorporating bells into his compositions added a unique and captivating element to his music. It showcased his willingness to experiment and push the boundaries of traditional composition, further solidifying his status as a musical pioneer. Melchior Hoffman's compositions, although initially mistaken for the work of J.S. Bach, have now rightfully claimed their place in the musical canon. His talent and innovation continue to inspire musicians and music lovers alike, ensuring that his legacy as a remarkable composer endures for generations to come. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.